Hey, it's Matt with Octo Clean Media. In this clip from the Janitorial Manager podcast hosted by Tim Clagg, we dive into one of the most effective marketing strategies for your cleaning business. We also discuss the upcoming ISSA show 2024, where we look forward to meeting up with you. Catch the full episode at janitorialmanager.com or on the Janitorial Manager YouTube channel and podcast platforms. The link is in the description below. I want to ask you guys, what role in we're looking at, you know, this economic uncertainty. What role for you guys has marketing played in maintaining a growing commercial cleaning business during economic downturn? How can business owners alike maximize their marketing budgets? Well, I think that I think a lot of what happens with marketing budgets is that people don't always clearly understand where their money is going and right? how customers actually buy. Right. And how customers buy. The the best marketing that anybody in this industry will ever do is clean your buildings and do a good job. Right? That's the best marketing. And then it's going to be the action of asking for referrals. That doesn't cost you much. Right? And that was the old school way of approaching for us, we spent the you know the first twenty years of our yeah, business. Yeah, we didn't spend just, a dollar on it. I don't think just doing those things. Now they did mailers. Remember the mailers? We did some mailers. Yeah. Terrible. But <laughs> yeah, year? but then moving year. into okay, we're actually going to have our brand you know be up in front, and people are going to recognize it. Um, and then it's going to be how do we spend our money? I mean, are we going to spend it on um, you know pay per click campaigns? Are we going to spend it on you know mailers? Are we going to spend it on um, you know, email campaigning, or, or what are we going to do? And what I tell a lot of folks is, is that you can't do just one thing, right? You know, and you really kind of have to try a little bit of everything. Um, for example, like what we're doing today is, to me, is more of a branding budget, right? Um, like we're spending time, you know, on a podcast, communicating our knowledge, et cetera, that we want folks to know who OctoClean is as like an industry leader, but it's not, it's not costing us a bunch of money, but it's costing us time. And that's important for us to recognize. That's what all of our yeah. podcasting is, is a branding budget. And, you know, the same would be for, you know, putting money into, uh, 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 you know, a, a nonprofit, you know, a gala or something like that. Like, what am I really getting? I'm getting my name in front of people who are going to recognize it. Advertising budgets and marketing budgets need to be separate, and I would say most of the time your advertising budget um, should be guerrilla marketing and should be out in the field, like doing the work. Especially when it, you're new. That's what it takes to build. Um, if you think that a mailer is going to get you somewhere, the, the people who are buying from you from a mailer are going to be $250, $300 a month cleaning contracts one day a week you that don't are want impossible anyone. to sign or impossible to staff and keep people in there unless you're doing subcontracting, which is technically against the law. So there's things that you've got to look at that there is no easy way to build your business and there is no silver bullet that's going to get you there. Right. You know, so, you know, branding, build a brand that people are going to look at and see as a, a professional brand. And then when it comes to advertising, be careful how you spend it, but never forget that, it, that you know, Elbow grease and sweat equity is is never going to be replaced by a, a, a mailer. Yeah, or never an ad on Facebook. And so, yeah, you get, go ahead. And you guys get it. I mean, looking looking at the brand, the shirts, logos, the studio behind you guys, the coffee mugs, every little <laughs> intricate detail. If if it if it's possible to have that company logo, that company saying, take advantage of it. Yep. The industry's biggest commercial cleaning show is less than a month away. That's right. ISSA, North America, OctoClean is participating in some training, the presentation while being there. What's your guys' overall goal of this session, and how can people attending join as well? Well, first I want to say that I think we're honored to even be invited. Matt and I have been going to ISSA since... I don't know, forever. Long I remember time. the first time we went, we're like, wow, this is really big. There's this many, you know, janitors. Yeah. You know, and so, I mean, it's, it's just an honor to be invited and definitely more an honor for, you know, Matt to come out and speak. So, I mean, it's... Yeah, I, mean, I would say that anyone who hasn't been to ISSA, um, I would highly recommend you go just for the sheer, you know, like, like how grandiose it is, right? It's, yeah. It really does demonstrate the size of this janitorial industry, the janitorial and sanit you know, sanitation supply industry. Um, so make it out. 
But for us, I mean, going out and, and being a presenter is, you know, definitely an honor. I mean, it, it, like Greg said, and what I hope people are going to get from, you know, our, our presentation is that, you know, everything starts with a contract. Everything starts with a well-bid, profitable contract. And so this whole piece is going to be about how do you bid janitorial jobs. And my hope is, is that it's going to be pretty um, uh, uh, dynamic and, you know, we're going to be able to get into some more Q&A because even though they wanted me to send a presentation, um, I want people to challenge me, right? I want people to come out and say, well, why would you bid it like that? And why are your money, you know, why are your dollars this way? Why are your percentages um, set up in this, in this way? You know, wh- wh- how did you come up with your profit margins? Um, and, you know, those are good questions to ask, and I'm ready to answer them. Um, you know, yes, there will be a presentation that I'll be giving, but I don't want people sitting back like, I, I bid price per square foot. I mean, I want them to, right. t- I want them to talk yeah. to me. So I- interactive. So you're going to be guys, there to talk a man. Yeah. For you guys, what does it mean personally to be able to be in front of your peers, to people who are sitting in those seats that were where you guys were back early 90s? What does that mean? Um, I know you guys are passionate about that story, about where you guys began. I... I personally, it's kind of emotional for me, yeah. you know, because we we've always done it. We've always done what we've done because we recognize an opportunity to to transform what this industry looks like and to be given the respect and dignity that we deserve within it. And what I know about ISSA is that there's a lot of BSCs that show up um, that walk the floor and look at all the stuff and do all the things. And they don't, I, I even, I mean, there are a handful that really take themselves seriously, you know, that really believe in what they're doing for their industry. But there's also a handful of them that are just kind of like wandering around looking at things and they're not really sure, they're kind of not directed exactly on where they need to go. Like for me and for Greg to be out there and to, to be recognized as people who can actually contribute Like, we're just janitors, and what I want to be able to do is provide to them, Greg, to provide to them a a forum for them to say, like, look, dude, I'm 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 struggling. I'm struggling. I'm screwing up here. Um, You know, I'm not making money where I should be. Like, where is it? And then for us to, like, be able to, like, like, I really just want to be able to sit and have a beer with somebody, you know? So that's what I'm hoping. Like, the, the, the little kid in me is, like, let's go out and, like, have fun and... Um, let's hope that we get to meet some people and talk to them. And, and well, Greg not, always meets people. No, Greg is Greg. Greg's best friends are every Uber driver that he ever yeah. ever has. So. Right. Same year, same See? year, same same way.